I'm Henry. In 2019, at the Dallas Veg Fest, I ran into a gentleman that began to tell me a story of how he had found something that had increased his energy, helped him lose an enormous amount of weight in a year's time, and the swelling that he had suffered in different joints in his body had gone away. As he began to tell me this story, I realized he was talking about juicing. He was so compelling in his story that that afternoon I purchased a juicer and began juicing myself. In two months time, I'd lost 20 pounds. The swelling that was chronic in my knees had gone away and my mental focus was as good as it's been in years. And I owe it all to juicing. In addition to those physical benefits, I now know that I am getting my fruits and vegetables on a daily basis. I think you should try juicing also. Hi, Dallas Veg Fest. My name is Kelvin Nunley, and I'm here today to uh, talk to you about my experiences with green juice. Um, a little bit about me. Uh, in 2018, I was uh, in a bad way as far as uh, health-wise. Uh, just years of abuse of my body, uh, not necessarily drugs or anything like that, but definitely food, um, making bad choices, working hard and not uh, really taking care of myself. Um, I had, I guess, uh, a few years before I had uh, opened up my own business and I was working very long hours. Uh, eating one meal a day, which was generally a fast food meal, going to sleep, and then getting up the next morning, grabbing another fast food meal that morning. So over the years, that just took its toll. So in 2018, I discovered uh, green juice. And I said, well, I have a juicer that's uh, in my closet. And it's never been opened, and it's been in there for um, uh, seven or eight years. I said, I think I'll try this juice uh, recipe. <clears throat> and see if this will help me. My numbers were off the chart. Uh, everything was bad. Uh, so uh, I started juicing and I juiced uh, green juice for about uh, a little bit over 30 days. Uh, ended up losing 34 pounds. I was, uh, my initial uh, desire was to just juice for a day. And then I went to three days. And then once I got to seven days, I was like, wow, I really like this. So, uh, you know, a lot of people juice even longer than that. Some people juice uh, a smaller amount of time than that. Um, <clears throat> but juicing provides a lot of, of, of wonderful benefits for your body, for your mind, for your soul, spirit, and everything. And I soon discovered that. Uh, juicing actually changed my life. Now, do I juice 30 days uh, now? No. Uh, I try to juice uh, at least two days out of the month, and that's generally not even for the full day. Uh, I'll use it as a meal replacement. Sometimes I'll go for a full week uh, with my juice for breakfast. Um, <clears throat> one thing uh, about juicing, and we talked about uh, the benefits. Green juice, um, it's from the green plant. It's from plants, and plants through the process of chlorophyll, um, is basically your liquid sunshine. It's what God gave us to um, carry these bodies and function in this world. Uh, <clears throat> so with the benefits of the chlorophyll, uh, you also uh, cleanse your body. Uh, it, it, it actually cleanses you on a cellular level. Um, it st strengthens your immune system, uh, helps you control inflammation, uh, increases blood cell production, and it helps your body's ability to carry oxygen so that you can breathe better and your body breathes better. There's so much toxicity in our daily lives uh, just from the environment and from everywhere that we need as much oxygen and as much chlorophyll as we can get in our body so that we can clean it. Uh, that's what chlorophyll is. Chlorophyll is a cleaner. Uh, <clears throat> and the best time to juice is um, in the mornings, uh, you definitely, uh, want to do, you know, start out the, the, the first thing in the morning and then you, you should probably uh, use it as a meal replacement as opposed to 
drinking it with a meal, especially a hot meal. You don't want to drink uh, your green juice with a hot meal because it kills a lot of the uh, nutritious benefits that you would receive uh, from it. Um, if you drink coffee, try to drink your green juice uh, at least an hour before um, you um, drink your coffee, okay? Uh, a couple of other things that uh, the green juice provides is uh, weight loss. Uh, I can attest to that. Uh, your digestions, your digestive system, uh, it improves it. Skin, hair, nails. It's a cancer prevent, uh, cancer prevention uh, mechanism. Uh, it's good for your liver, your gallbladder, uh, <clears throat> your kidney function, and also it clears congestion in the lungs. So as we all know, what this COVID-19 uh, is doing, especially to to minority folks and black folks, is that it's attacking the lungs and that's where um, we suffer. Green juice, and I'm not saying it's a cure, but it actually clears congestion in the lungs. Even if we didn't have COVID-19, you wanna make sure you clear that congestion in your lungs. Um, <clears throat> and also, it improves your intestinal flora or your the bacteria in your gut. Uh, so we, we're, we're full of trillions and trillions of microbes of bacteria, and it's primarily in the lower intestine. So if you're not uh, feeding green, nutritious vegetables and fruits and all of those things, you're literally starving yourself because that uh, lower intestine where that flora is located is completely craving those kinds of nutritions uh, for your body to function properly. So in essence, you end up, when you don't do that, when you don't allow your body to absorb those nutritious uh, fruits and vegetables that God gave us, you end up literally starving yourself. And that leads to sickness and early death. And that's something that we all should try to avoid. Uh, <clears throat> in your body, you have what we call um, good gut bacteria and bad gut bacteria. Good gut bacteria, the more you feed the good gut bacteria, the less bad gut bacteria you have. However, the more you receive or you feed your body bad gut bacteria, which is processed foods, fast foods, um, those things that we all think we love, the less good gut bacteria you actually end up having. Your good gut bacteria actually becomes bad gut bacteria. There's a uh, uh, nerve in your body called the vagus nerve, and the vagus nerve runs all over your body. It touches every organ in your body and more importantly, it runs to your brain. And in order for your brain to function at its capacity and how it should function, it needs that good gut bacteria to provide that information. If you don't feed your body the good gut bacteria, your brain is cut off from information that it needs to function properly so that your body can function properly. Uh, I discovered all of this stuff. I didn't, I'm not a doctor or anybody like that. And I, you know, what I do is what I do for myself. Uh, and it's just through reading and uh, through education. Um, but I was literally, uh, you know, dying in 2018. Uh, lost a lot of weight, still losing weight. It's an ongoing process. I didn't gain the weight overnight. <clears throat> so I'm not trying to profess that, oh, this is a magical cure. But it definitely helped my numbers return to normal. Uh, I run. Uh, I participated in a half marathon uh, this year. Uh, last Saturday, I ran five miles. This Saturday, I'll run six miles. Uh, I work out. Um, it provides, the, the green juice has provided me that ability to change my life and change my body. So um, I'm going to provide you with a recipe that I use. I'm going to show you different um, not different, but I'm going to show you exactly what goes in green juice. We'll uh, juice here in a few minutes, and I hope you enjoy it And because uh, it's something that's uh, a life changer for me, uh, and I think it can be a life changer for you, okay? Thank you. Okay, what we have here are the vegetables that we're going to use for the um, juice. Um, they're all natural. Um, you can get them at any supermarket that you go to, but these are the primary in ingredients for the green juice. We have one cucumber, one carrot, 
one or two stalks of, of uh, celery. Sometimes I'll put three or four because celery, all of these vegetables are water soluble and that uh, water is very good for the body. Um, we also have one or two pieces of ginger. Ginger is very good for the body as well. Uh, it provides a lot of nutrients. The best way to peel the ginger, because you have to peel the ginger, the best way to do that is to, uh, with the back of a spoon and just peel it. Make sure you don't put uh, that husk in your uh, juicer because that will destroy it. Uh, one green apple, that's for flavor, also for nutrition. And then we have our green leafy vegetables. I chose mustard greens and kale. Uh, very good for the body. You can see that freshness there, uh, how lively it is. And then once we juice this, once we squeeze it down in the cold compressed juicer, all of these nutrients in the juicer uh, that come from this, um, these uh, wonderful vegetables and fruit will go into your body and immediately start uh, their work on your body, okay? This is the uh, Hurum juicer. It is a um, slow uh, juicer, meaning um, as opposed to centrifugal, which goes much faster. This juicer actually juices slowly so that it um, gets all the nutrients out of the uh, fruits and vegetables. When you juice, uh, it returns uh, approximately 40 to 50 percent more juice from the um, from the um, fruits and vegetables. This is where the juice will exit right here and this is the pulp that comes out of the juicer. Uh, that pulp is really good. You can do a lot of things with pulp. You can make soup, you can make um, breads out of it, uh, a lot of different things you can get. So the juicers, uh, the Hiram juicers, uh, if you catch them on sale, they start at about, oh, 225 bucks. However, uh, you you do reap the benefits of your money uh, in what you can do and also getting those nutrients that you receive. And here's my little setup. Uh, you see, I showed you the uh, fruits and vegetables earlier. Uh, I have everything near the sink because it's, uh, you know, you want to make sure you keep your stuff clean. Um, As you see the juicer right here. This is the presser that I, when I put the items in, I just push down and they feed through the juicer and it turns, you'll see it where it turns and, and juice squeezes the juice out. The juice comes out of here. The pulp will slowly come out of here and we'll get started in a second. Okay, we've started the juicing. You see, this is nice kale right here. It's turning in there, spinning around. I'll put some carrots in there already. Um, ginger, as I showed you the ingredients before. So with the uh, leafy vegetables, you gotta use the plunger. You don't wanna just force it down, just gently apply pressure. <clears throat> and you can see up close here, how the cold press juicer is turning and churning. Here's a celery stalk, very water soluble. You just feed it in at the top and watch it go. And look at all that chlorophyll down there, all of that life for your body, the way God intended. I'm gonna put another green in here so you can see it. You can hear that crunch, 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 That's that cold press working. It turns really, really slow. Here's the pulp that comes out. You use that pulp for soups and additives to your meals. Make bread with it. Put it in the freezer after you're done with it. You're just don't throw it away. We like to put ours in whatever kind of soup we're having for the winter time or summertime. This was kind of Hold up here and you can see I'm just wiggling it a little bit. Not a lot of force. It's going to catch here in a minute. You'll see it though. 
Push it just a little bit, just enough. This is all that chlorophyll coming out of this juicer. And as you see, it comes out, it will come out real fast. It's nice. And here's a cucumber. Another cow. On the apple. The juice, um, once you, what, whatever you have left over, you know, you want to drink it as fresh as you can. So cold pressed juice only lasts three days. So you have to refrigerate it, but you don't drink that day, or as soon as you get through drinking, whatever you have remaining, make sure you refrigerate it. So today is Thursday by Saturday. Whatever I don't drink, I'm going to have to toss out. And believe me, I'll make sure I drink it all because I want all that nutrition. Okay, we'll be back shortly and I'll show you what it looks like, okay? Thank you. Now, this is what it all looks like. Um, I'll let the foam settle for later. Um, and I, I put it in a container that um, we use here at our house um, and then we'll shake it around. We'll drink eight ounces in the mornings, eight ounces in the evenings. Um, but it's very, very good for you. All the help that you need, you know, they talk about eating five to seven fruits and vegetables a day. Well, if you want that five to seven in a drinkable amount, you know, and it is green, it's, it's gonna, you're gonna feel it because we're just not used to eating and drinking green vegetables like this in their raw natural state, which is the way they should be. Uh, but the taste and the flavor will get to your body and then your body will actually start craving it. Remember we talked about good gut bacteria and bad gut bacteria? That good gut bacteria in your lower intestine, intestine will start craving it. Craving the green juice and those nutrients. Here's the pulp that we use for soups and breads and different things like that. I'll freeze this. And uh, especially when it gets a little bit cooler, we'll be able to have some nice soup and we'll just throw it in the soup as an additive. The cold press, Nothing uh, ever leaves. Here's the pulp right here, as you can see. We'll use this in soup, uh, breads. Later in the year, we'll just put it in the freezer. Here's the green juice. That foam at the top will settle later. And um, eight ounces of this, 10 ounces of this. It's all that chlorophyll. The, the flavor is different because we're not used to it, generally speaking. Uh, especially in this raw and natural form, but this is the best way to get that flavor directly to your body, immediate, immediately to your cellular level, so that you can feel it and enjoy it and nourish your body and clean those cells. That's it. This is what it looks like in a glass. As you can see, that's a lot of <clears throat> nutrition and chlorophyll for the body. Um, very good nutrition. You can do this at home. There's two types of juicers, um, basically a centrifugal force juicer, which speeds really fast. You can hear it. Well, and then compared to the uh, cold press juicer, which is the one that uh, we exhibited here today, uh, the centrifugal, uh, you don't, it doesn't squeeze out as much of the juice. So you leave a lot of the juice, like 40 to 50% of your juice from the plant inside. The cold press juice is slower, it squeezes and presses, as the name indicates, and you end up with a bag of dried pulp for the most part. It's a little wet, but it's dry. And this is what I was talking about, we freeze it. I mark my date, put it in the freezer, and all we do is just put this in soups and dishes and whatever, so it gives it, you still get more nutrition, so you get 100% of the plant. And this is the juice. So if you have any questions, please feel free to contact uh, Dallas Veg Fest, uh, contact uh, Ms. Angela Sanders. Uh, she'll know how to get in touch with me. Uh, I won't provide my private information, but if you have any questions, uh, please, I'll be glad to help you because I know how this actually helped me. Bon appetit.